Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be making beer battered cod and tartar sauce with capers and fresh herbs. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button down below. It'll only take you a second and it'll really help my channel grow. Now let's get cooking. Here I have cod that I've patted dry with a paper towel. I'm gonna season both sides of the fish with salt and pepper. Technically you really shouldn't salt fish beforehand, but what we want to do is draw out some of the moisture in order to firm up the fish a bit so it doesn't make the crispy batter soggy later and it stops the fish from falling apart during cooking. If you can't get cod, this recipe also works great with tilapia. I'm going to let the fish sit while I prepare the batter. Here I have one and a half cups of all-purpose flour and a teaspoon of baking powder. I'm gonna sift both of them together. Sifting the flour incorporates air and makes for a lighter, crispier batter. Now I'm adding a heaping teaspoon of Old Bay seasoning and a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Add a big pinch of salt and whisk to combine the dry ingredients together. Now gradually add one and a half bottles of beer while whisking until you reach the consistency of pancake batter. You don't want to add the beer all at the same time because that'll make for a really clumpy batter. Now there is a debate on whether dark beer, lager, or light beer works best. I've tried this recipe with all of them and I didn't see a significant difference in texture or taste. So go ahead and use your favorite beer. Now that the batter is at the right consistency, set it aside to allow the flour to absorb the beer and bloom. Meanwhile, I'm gonna make the tartar sauce. To my bowl, I'm adding half a cup of mayonnaise, two tablespoons of sour cream, a teaspoon of vinegar, one clove of garlic using a garlic press, fresh ground black pepper, small pinch of salt, and a few dashes of cayenne pepper. Now mix well to combine. Now I'm going to finally chop some cornichons, which are basically baby dill pickles. You can also use regular dill pickles as well if you have those on hand already. The number of pickles you'll need will depend on their size, but you will need about three tablespoons chopped. Add one tablespoon of capers drained. Next, finely chop a few sprigs of dill and a few sprigs of parsley, about one tablespoon of each. Add the herbs to the bowl and whisk to combine. Once all of the ingredients are combined, cover with plastic wrap and place in the fridge while you fry your fish. I have vegetable oil heating on medium heat. I'm gonna test the oil by putting a drop or two of the batter in the oil. If the oil starts to sizzle and the batter floats to the top right away, the oil is ready for frying. Using a pair of tongs, dip a piece of your fish in the batter until fully coated. Carefully lower the fish into the oil. Only fry a couple of pieces at a time to avoid overcrowding, otherwise the temperature of the oil will drop too low and the fish will end up steaming instead of frying. The fish fries quickly, so keep an eye on it. It only takes about four to five minutes depending on the thickness. Use a skimmer or a large slotted spoon to remove the fish from the oil and place on a baking rack to drain. I covered my baking sheet with tin foil for easier cleanup. One less thing to wash later. Repeat this process until all of the fish is fried. Season liberally with salt while the fish is still hot. As you can see, the batter is light and crispy on the outside and the fish is flaky and moist on the inside. Dip in the tartar sauce and enjoy. For more recipes, don't forget to subscribe to my channel below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.